Hey, Mark. <sighs> Hello, Brian. And then hey, and you want to see my madcap impression? What do you call Corbin after this match? Decappy Corbin. I hate you. I hate you. Ugh. Bianca's going to have the best match in WrestleMania two years in a row, which is, is quite a defeat. This was awesome. This was unbelievable. This made the whole thing worth it by itself. Was this the match that you couldn't figure out how to order pizza during? Uh, yeah. <laughs> like a sloth. Just eating. I was hungry. He had the pizza box sitting on now his I chest. Am. And he's just you don't like, even want to know what I ate earlier today. Uh, uh. Wrestling has more than one royal family. And the place explodes. Dude, they exploded. I want to watch a show, and I want to be surprised by the troll. show. But fucking Brian and Uncle Dave got to go and be like, well, it's going to be a cool event. He's coming in this bit. These WWE fans, I mean, have you ever been on my timeline? They hate AEW. So the fact that this guy left AEW, now he's their guy. He left them to come to us. It hasn't been Palm Sunday. They haven't strung him up there. He hasn't gotten dead. They haven't put him in that cave. He hasn't come out of the cave. It's not Easter. Thank God Craig's not here tonight. Why? Is he super in the Easter? And he gives Steve Austin a vertical suplex on the cement, and it was fucking on at that point. <laughs> and, you know, by the end, this was a good match. Nostalgia scale, 316 stars. Wow. That's a lot of stars. That is. Brian and Uncle Dave didn't know it was going to happen, so it didn't get fucking spoiled for me. I like Mark came on the show to bury our, his, this website. <laughs> Look at that little troll. This whole weekend has reminded me how great pro wrestling actually is and can be and how much fun it is and how you should like seek out the wrestling you like and watch it as often as you can. I've done nothing but watch wrestling all weekend. I haven't showered. You don't say. I haven't combed my hair. So, uh, I've, I've showered regularly. I wonder if I would know that. We were promised a match with Sami Zayn, Johnny Knoxville, and the cast of Jackass. What did we fucking get? <laughs> we, All of that and so much more. We <laughs> got everything that you would have, and yes, so much more. I wasn't expecting the human sized mousetrap. No. I wasn't expecting the giant fucking hand. And this little guy, <laughs> Wee Man, we, holy fuck. It's just Wee Man. It's not They didn't smarten man. this guy up. These little people are scary. You said something They're dangerous. About, like, I don't like these little people. I did That's not say I didn't said. like them, you idiot. You don't have kids, Mark. You're not supposed to say You ever that. had a two-year-old that wants to jump on your stomach, but they stomp on your balls instead? Doesn't fucking matter if they're two. No. They crush your nuts. Somebody put them side by side. No joke. Wee Man slamming Sami Zayn looks exactly like Hulk Hogan slamming Andre. That's my <laughs> point. They should put those together in a montage. But I give it a solid thumbs up. Oh, it was a thumbs up for sure. A big fucking giant oversized thumb. If you check your brain at the door, this was fine. I did not like this. Oh, oh Craig. Oh. I'm sorry. You were like I. a pedophile or something? <laughs> I can't remember what Oh, you yeah, that's right. Yeah, I was. I was some creep. Yeah, you were a creep that yeah. wanted to jerk off in front of somebody in, in a fucking junkyard. I was impressed with McAfee that he did a great job. He looked great. You've never seen such shit as Pat McAfee versus Grandpa Vince. Oh, Lord. Who looks 700 years old here. <laughs> Vince larried at him and gave him a couple of absolutely horrible moves. Vince Kate, held out his arm and McAfee ran into it and fell down. Yeah, Kate, Don't call it a lariat. This guy looked like Kermit the Frog on steroids. His eyes bugged out of his head. He actually does. Austin Theory took one of the <laughs> best stunner bumps I ever saw in my life. The zenith of his jump where like he's essentially weightless. I believe right then he began to run in place. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> It was legs. so awesome. I guess it probably would have been cool if Vince would have taken a good stunner, but this was actually way better. I mean, this was the way it had to be. This was fucking poetry. Dewey Foley recorded his father, Mick, reacting to the worst stunner of all time. It's <laughs> jolly old St. Mick laughing till he cries. There's a shot of uh, McAfee trying to recuperate by, by chugging a beer on his back. I laughed. I got the notice from a cable box. Are you still there? <laughs> because the show's so damn long. Yes, we got Granny on video. Hey, you can see me and Vinny and Craig and everybody now. Isn't that much yeah. better? I guess. And you know what? <laughs> there was uh, Rhodes and Rollins, and that, to me, was the worst sh a worst match of all. It was a terrible one. I only gave that one a three. It seemed kind of phony for some reason. Huh. I usually, Did I you usually... watch the Sami Zayn Johnny Knoxville match? <laughs> <laughs> no, Brian Edge and Reigns. I picked Reigns on that one. I got that right. Brian Edge and Reigns. That, Who that's is the main this? event. 
That was the meat of it, Amenia, last year. That's where I made that big mistake because mm. I picked Owens on that Pick one. Kevin Owens over Stone Cold Steve Austin. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That, that was, was a big I, mistake. Even Kevin Owens admitted that was foolish. What are you doing up there? Turn my light up. Oh, okay. Ambrose trains with Heartland Wrestlers Association. I like Heartless Wrestling Association. <laughs> yeah, and a Heartless Wrestling Association. Well, I started on the 2019. Ambrose announces that he... He'll take a break from wrestling with WWE. That's what happened? He took a break from wrestling with <laughs> WWE? Billy Gunn looked exactly like the Virgin on NXT. Okay. He looked just like BJ. You know, I remember which one is uh, JB and which one is BJ. Tell me, Brian. Because BJ has never gotten a BJ. Razor Ramon versus The Kid. <laughs> and he actually put it in quotes on the screen... The kid. And I think some people have said it was kind of like a slip on the banana peel finish, but it absolutely was not. Sunset flip, sexy. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I can imagine, but that's a I lot can't of tell flexibility you how much I don't, I don't, I don't know. picture Randy Savage having. Lanny, maybe. <laughs> oh, my. Just went there. He could sunset flip himself. Yes, I heard. Dude, if you're a worker, you should watch this match like 80 times. Problem is, then you have to find a Shawn Michaels or a Marty Jannetty, and they, they ain't around. Samoa Joe, by the way, terribly sunburned here. I guess uh, news to me, but Samoans can't get sunburned because Joe was. A baddie is a beautiful woman with confidence that knows herself. i got to figure out where this baddie section thing is going. Is one of these baddies going to jump the rail and, and beat Jade Cargill? Thanks him for his service and then vows to enter him worse than he ever could have been in combat. Wow. This was not a pretty match at all. And then the rules were absolutely preposterous. And then the finish didn't make any sense whatsoever. Hopefully this is the last tables match for a while. Because you know what? They can have good tag team matches. Absolutely. I mean, it's it's quite possible. But, uh, you know, killing themselves and going through tables and falling off high things. I think that we should uh, it's 2022. reel that one in. Yeah. Julia Hart versus Ricardo Shida in a own heart qualifier. Yikes. The old saying, he's got a back like a barn door. Mm -hmm. He has a back. Like a barn door. Can someone please find me another incident in history where we saw one tag team have two matches of this caliber within four days? So Braun comes out for his uh, new championship promo. And was this was, was, was this was still in Orlando, right? The Performance Center? Yeah. Because there was a heel section this week. Golly, they were so fucking irritating. Fabian Eichner enters the ring. He walks across the ring, he leaves the ring, he circles the ring, and he walks out. He never says anything, he never does anything, there's no reason for this to happen at all. It's the former NXT UK champs! They're English lads! Okay. They got names? Yeah, I'm waiting. You, you can tell me, Wade, who these people are and what their unit is? And it was like both of them forgot what their names were. Yeah. Because I just was waiting, and I think they were waiting for the other guy to say what their names were, and they didn't. And they practically whisper, I'm James Bond. And the guy says, I'm Sherlock Holmes. So whatever the names are, I don't know. I couldn't hear them. You earn $50,000 every month, yet your net worth is Five hundred thousand dollars. Not a lot of. What in the fuck are you doing with your money? He's living lavishly. Apparently, <laughs> save your fucking money, AJ Galante. Jesus. Nikita Lions versus Last Legend. This is the best thing on the show to this point, and that stunned me. Bronson, I want you to know, I'm proud of you. And the camera zooms up, zooms out. And uh, Rick Steiner is bound up by bungee cords and in a big-ass cage. I was expecting a feud between Gunther and Braun Breaker leading to a championship match. And uh, they just blew it off in a night, unadvertised. And then we are moving on to Joe Gacy. That's who you came up with to challenge Braun Breaker? What? What?